What if I told you you didn't need something that looked like all of this to do an effective Bible study? But actually, to do a fully effective Bible study, you have all you need in your pocket. Keep watching to learn how to use the YouVersion Bible app to do effective Bible study. Hey guys, Jeff here from That Bold Life, your weekly encouragement to help you live a bold life for Jesus. So just a few years ago, if you wanted to do a Bible study, you would have needed to have the Bible in multiple translations. You would have needed to have a good devotional. You needed to have a commentary, a Strong's Concordance, a Bible dictionary, a notepad. You'd have needed a, a stack of books. You would have needed a stack of books that looked something like this. And I know the pastors who would go into their office every day with a stack of books bigger than this and prepare their message for that week. Now, although I do think there's something awesome about having a physical book in front of you, I think there's just something different about that, that I really enjoy reading a physical Bible, reading physical devotionals. I want you to know that you don't need all of those books. You don't have to spend, you know, thousands of dollars at Lifeway or on Amazon to be able to do Bible study. Actually, technology, even though some say it is a curse, has actually been sort of a blessing in the area of Bible study because you have this little device in your pocket, whether it's an iPhone or an Android, that gets all these different apps that you can use to do Bible study. On your phone that's already in your pocket that you're gonna have with you anywhere you go, you can pull it out, you can read the Bible, you can read a devotional, you can watch a video, you can do all sorts of amazing things just on your phone. So today we're gonna to be focusing on the YouVersion Bible app. It is my personal app of choice for Bible study and Bible reading. So whether you're completely new to the YouVersion Bible app or you're actually a seasoned veteran, you've been using it for years, I suggest all of you stick around because I'm gonna be showing some tips and tricks that I bet you don't know. All right guys, so let's go to the YouVersion Bible app right here on my phone. First comes up, you'll kind of see this home screen. Um, it'll come up first and show you if you've been on and you've highlighted anything. That'll be right there in the front so you can see what you've highlighted. Right below that, it kind of has my streak. So I'm going on an eight day streak. I believe my long is like a 15 day streak. Um, but that's cool. You can always keep up with your streaks and compare with your friends and say, hey, I've, you know, I've logged in, I've read this many days and just kind of uh, compare and get some bragging rights. That's good, that's that's humble, right? Bragging to your friends about how much you read the Bible. Okay, then you have uh, the verse of the day is right there. You have the, the verse of the day in picture form. So if you wanted to save that and share it to your Instagram or share it to your Facebook to you know encourage your friends, you can do that right from this home screen. If you keep going down, it's gonna show you what your friends are reading. So you can see my friends are reading different plans. They're um, posting different images and that's all there. It's kind of made the Bible social, and I just, I love that, that we can get on and compare with our friends, see what our friends are reading, see what our friends are into, uh, see what they've highlighted, what notes they've made. I just think that's so powerful, it's so cool. Okay, so let's say you wanna read the Bible, no problem, you're just gonna click the Read tab right here, and it's gonna kind of come up, come up to wherever you were before. Let's say the translation you're reading isn't the translation you want to read, all you gotta do is click the translation there, and you see I'm in NLT. It's gonna have all my recently used, and then it has all of these other English translations. I can switch to any of them that I wanna to go to. Uh, let's say I just wanna switch over to NIV. Right there it is, it's available in NIV. Say that um, I, there's a verse I wanna highlight, you know, I want, I want to make sure I can notice this verse, you know, uh, John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. So I'm just gonna click the color I want. Um, this can be whatever you want. I just use blue and green. That's my strategy. That's kind of what I go with. Another thing I really enjoy about this app is say you're on a passage that you want to read, uh, but you maybe you're, maybe you're cleaning or you're driving and you can't really read it. All you have to do is click this little play button down here. John 3. Now there was a Pharisee, a man named uh, Nicodemus, who was a member of the Jewish ruling council. And it's going to start reading it to you. I love to have my Bluetooth headphones on and I can just listen to the Bible while I'm cleaning or while I'm driving or while I'm doing any other thing, I can just be listening to the Bible. And I just think it's powerful. It's another awesome feature of this app is that you don't have to buy the CDs or you know the, the MP3s or anything like that. It's available to you right here in pretty much whatever translation you want and you can just listen to it. Now, one of my favorite features of the YouVersion Bible app is this next tab right here called Plans. Now, plans are basically like devotionals and there are thousands of devotionals of, of that cover a huge array of topics of Bible passages of, of different 
scripture, so whatever you want. And, and a new feature they just rolled out is like group devotionals. So as you see the top one here, uh, Carol's A Christmas Devotional. I'm doing this with several other friends. We're doing it at our church as like a online small group type deal. Um, and it is just, we can do it with so many friends. What we're planning to do is we're gonna read it each day and then we're gonna kind of post in it and talk about it. Um, so that's just gonna be a lot of fun. And you can see I have some other ones I have going on. I can save devotionals for later. So here's, I have 45 saved for later. Um, then here's a list of all my completed ones. If I wanted to go look for other ones, all I gotta do is click this little tab that says find plans. You see I have Craig Rochelle's come up right at top. Then I have some uh, popular topics. So let's say I wanted to go to one on fear. I would just simply tap fear and, and a lot of them come up dealing with fear. And these are all different devotionals of different links over different periods of time, but they're all dealing with the topic of fear. So let's say I wanted to go to one of these other ones. So there's here's some that's new to faith. So maybe you just now became a Christian or just now getting serious about reading the Bible. Some of these might be pretty good for you. Maybe you want to read through the Bible. You want to read through the whole Bible in a year. That's on here. If you want to read through the New Testament in a month, or if you want to read through certain parts, that's all here. You can go to partial and there's going to be uh, the uh, Ruth challenge. So reading through the book of Ruth, uh, um, there's an Old Testament, the uh, Romans, the Bible series, a chapter a day. So that's reading the Bible in three years. But there are just so many different plans you can do here. Some through on work, on leadership, on marriage, on prayer, on forgiveness. So about anything you can think of, there's going to be a devotion. So whatever you're going through, where whatever life is kind of like right now, whatever problems you're facing, there's a good chance there's going to be a devotional on here that you can read that's going to help encourage and motivate you. So go to the plan section, just click this little search icon and type whatever you're going through. So maybe it is anxiety. Just type that in and you're going to see so many different plans on anxiety and read those and reading it every day I think will help encourage you. So what I think is a pretty new section, I wasn't familiar with it, is this explore tab. So when you first click on it, there's gonna be a whole list of these Bible pictures that you can click on. You can then, what? YouTube notification. Um, but you can click on these and then you can, you know, click the little share icon, you can save it, share it to Instagram, I think you share it straight to Facebook. Yeah, so you can take this image, you can um, save it, do some different things with it. Then up here you can go to this, you know, what does the Bible say about, and there's all these different topics. And you can go say, what does the Bible say about joy? And you click it and it's gonna come up with all of these different passages of scripture just dealing with joy. Uh, another one that I really like is right here where it says the Bible stories. You can click this and it'll have Bible stories from the creation of the world, from Noah and the flood. It'll have it on Samson, on Ruth, on David and Goliath. So if you wanted to actually read any of these, you can just click it and click right there. It's gonna take you right to the story. It's all divided out by the different stories of the Bible. And that's just powerful. If maybe you're not real familiar, or you just wanna to go to a story really quick. You just, the Holy Spirit comes in Acts 2. Just click it and it's gonna take you right there. So this this Explore is, is super, super powerful. I, I highly recommend that you just, like it says, explore it. But there's actually a lot more to this app. Those are the first four tabs and you often think that's it, but they actually have a few special features under the more section that I think a lot of people kind of overlook. So under the more section, first thing that you'll see here is we have videos. And I think this is awesome because under the videos, look, you can go to the story of Christmas and you can watch these different videos that tell the story of Christmas. You can go to uh, the Gospel of Mark and there's gonna be different videos of different passages of Mark and you can actually basically watch the Bible right here on your phone. The Bible Project, which are awesome, they put a lot of great videos on YouTube, they're on here. You can watch their videos on here. And there's just so many, you can see they're not wanting to load up, my LTE can be kind of slow, but there's so many different videos on here that's gonna help you just see the Bible in a whole new light. We click back to the More tab. One cool thing I really like is if there's a church in your area or if your church does it, if you click Events, It'll be location based and it's gonna pick up, it's actually gonna pick up my churches. Uh, so I go to Grace Community Church, I'm the pastor there. But here is our church's sermon notes. So if there's a church in your area, it'll probably pick it up and you can go and look through the sermon notes. This is actually our sermon notes, our pastor's sermon notes for this week. Um, so we can go through and take a look and while he's preaching his message, I'll have my phone out and I'll be going along with him on the sermon notes right here. Um, and that's just a really cool, powerful passage and if you know, this particular sermon really stay, stayed with me. I can click save and I can refer back to these notes at any time. 
any verse he talks about, I can click add notes and boom, 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 add my own notes and I can save it for later on. But yeah, the, the Uversion Bible app is just such a powerful app that we have access to on our phones for free that we just have so much ability and so much that we can do with it in our pockets uh, that we really have no excuse at this point. We have no reason to not be reading our Bible, to not be in the Word, to not be doing devotionals, to not be you know reading the Bible with our friends. It's all right there in our pockets, available on Apple, it's available on Android, it's available on your computer, you can access it through a web browser. So it, it is accessible to us. So my biggest recommendation right now is go and download the Uversion Bible app and start reading. All right guys, if you enjoy the Uversion Bible app, do me a favor, leave me a comment down below and let me know about your favorite feature. All right guys, if you enjoyed this video, go and hit that subscribe button because I release content just like this every single week. So be sure to check back and keep living that bold life.